What's up, you guys? Back from the road. Really excited to share this episode with you with some of my the, the expeditions from around the world and some really exciting news about The Chris Stefanik Show. Thanks for being with us. All right, so some major changes with The Chris Stefanik Show. The first is that if you're going to look for us on YouTube, the new home is going to be at Real Life Catholic. So this will be aired on Formed and at the Real Life Catholic YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe there and share the show from that YouTube channel. Um, bigger changes is that there's going to be more variety in this show. I have loved sitting down and doing interviews. We're still going to do that. But I'm also going to bring you just a lot more from the road. We're starting kind of gritty and shamelessly just tell you this, low budge smartphone videos. But <laughs> there's just so many moments that I experience on the road that I just want to share with you guys. So production will change over time with that. But you're going to have more experiences from the road, talk clips, a mix of people sending in smartphone videos so we can hear from you, uh, and all that also interspersed with, with, with interviews. Uh, but this, this first one, I want to share a, a little sample of what you're going to be seeing some more of in this show. Uh, is from my experience at World Youth Day, which was, for me, honestly, I, I, I've, I've been at ministry for a long time. I've seen a lot of ups and downs in the church and, and in youth culture. And I've been on five World Youth Days, which you might look at me thinking, you're, you're a grandpa with the third and fourth grandkids on the way. What are you doing going to World Youth Day? And I asked myself that question as I slept on the ground with 1.5 million people, most of them young people. I led a group of teenagers there myself. I had 350 people we led there. Um, guys, I can't tell you what it did for my faith, and I hope it blesses you to, to watch some of this experience. Here it is. What's up, you guys? Greetings from my vacation where I'm getting much needed rest after World Youth Day, which was truly exhausting. And I'm so excited this week on the Chris Stefanik Show, that's me, Chris Stefanik, to dive into the experience we had at World Youth Day. I want to take you to the event with me. Uh, now, for those who aren't familiar with World Youth Day, Pope John Paul II started this event back in the 1980s to gather the young people of the world to celebrate their faith. But it wasn't just to bolster them in their faith, but the rest of the world, as we look at these gatherings, that are shockingly huge of young people who the media tells us are not supposed to be into their faith. And yet somehow, through all the confusion in this young generation are still drawn to the church. And not just drawn to a, a spiritual church, a purely spiritual church, but one that's visible. This resonates in the human spirit that young people are drawn to these events because wherever World Youth Day is hosted, it tends to be the largest event in that nation's history. And Portugal was no exception to that rule. Uh, so this week on The Chris Stefanik Show, I'm going to dive into some experiences I had in Portugal, bring you with me on my smartphone. Um, I'll be with my son. He'll share a little bit of his faith. We'll read a little bit of his mom's conversion that happened in large part at a World Youth Day in 1993. Uh, what else? Oh, we encountered some teens from around the world, especially um, blown away by kids who were, were at World Youth Day from countries where, you know, it was humbling because I'm preaching at World Youth Day events about having courage and sharing your faith. And there's there's kids sitting out there from countries where, where they suffer persecution for their faith, uh, including some kids I encountered in the field from Iraq, who literally risked their lives just to go to Mass on Sunday. Whew. They risk so much more than us who might be canceled on social media for saying the wrong thing, whatever. Yeah, it was just so cool, man. I brought, bring it into the experience of the field and really what it felt like. Oh, and some great close-up shots of the Pope. And then I'll answer a question at the end, uh, I guess responding to some social media comments I've gotten from both the far left and quote far right, uh, from people who either really didn't get World Youth Day and nitpicked everything about the Pope or uh, who misinterpreted things the Pope said to be totally permissive uh, about anything you might ever wanna do. So all that and more on the Chris Stefanik Show. Dive into Portugal with us right now. Here we go. Greetings from the media area at World Youth Day with my son Joey. We just had an incredible time with EWTN in English and Polish. High five. Yep. He was interviewed. He actually did an incredible job. So proud of you, buddy. Thanks. Um, guys, there was about 400,000 people at Woodstock. And we're still talking about it today. We're still All right. 
cooking up something really exciting for you guys. Check out the new Chris Stefanik show. It's going to start coming out weekly. Just Google Chris Stefanik YouTube and make sure you sign up for my personal YouTube channel. It's at Real Life Catholic on YouTube. It's going to be like my Chris Stefanik show that had been previously hosted in the Augustine Institute's YouTube page, uh, but with a lot more real life grit and interaction with you guys. So do not miss it. Also, if you want to make sure you never miss an episode, go to reallifecatholic.com and sign up for my newsletter. Love you guys. Guys, that bolstered my faith so much. And I got to be totally honest with you. In many ways, it made me really happy to be Catholic again. Not that I'm not always happy to be Catholic. You know me, if you follow our stuff. There's a lot about the church that I just, I, I'm blown away by. That the Lord loves us this much, that He gives Himself to us in so many ways through, through His church. Uh, but I'll tell you, when you're on the inside and you've worked for the church for many years, you see how your sausage is made. <laughs> and you see, you see conflict happening within the Vatican and the, the very human elements of the church and the stuff to get you down. And just being there with all these young people who looked so much like the young people I saw at World Youth in 93 when I was there as a teenager. And seeing how youth culture is a mess, and yet the same thing is in the, the hearts of these kids that was there when I was a kid looking for God. And things can be a mess in so many levels in church leadership, and yet what a gift to, to have a pope and bishops and cardinals and priests and this whole church that the Lord left us and to, to feel the wave of grace, of just gathering with the church from all around the world. I think every country except North Korea was represented. And the Pope and the spiritual power of that, and to see the impact of that. And all these young people who come there from all these different backgrounds, so often confused about which way is up nowadays. And here we are, the same blessing, the same Jesus in the same church that he's been in for 2,000 years. Woo, man. So I hope that lifted you up like it lifted me up to be there. And I also hope you see this, guys. There's going to be changes in this Chris Stefanik show experience. Grow with us over time. The thing is not changing is that we're going to keep focusing as we have been for the past two years on helping you live in the joy that God made you for. I love you guys. As always, it's an honor to be on this journey of life with you.